So here we need to find the shift of the interference pattern when the slit is displaced by delta L along the arc of the radius R with center at the point O. So here the original source was here and then slit is displaced by a distance delta L along the arc of this circle. So in this case the mirrors are, are at rest and the object is displaced. Let's deal with the angle instead of the distance. So if uh, this is delta L, let's say it's rotated by an angle theta. So what we have seen is mirrors are, are at rest and the object is rotated by an angle theta. Now we know in that case, if object is rotated by theta, then image rotates by same angle theta in the opposite sense about the about the point uh, about which the, the object is rotated. So about this point, if object is, object is rotated by theta, then about the same point, the image will be rotated by the same angle theta. Now we have two images here. So because of the first initial source, we had these two images, which were formed by both the mirrors. And when the source is rotated, then the Im images of both the images due to both the mirrors will both rotate by the same angle theta. So better way to visualize this. So this uh, initially the source was uh, not the source, sorry, the, the center line between the two images was here. And then because both the images have shifted by an angle theta, the center line will also be shifted by that same angle theta. So now I think this diagram is pretty clear what's happening. And initially the central maxima was at the center here. So these were the two, two images. So central maxima was on the exact center. And now because the images have shifted like this, the central maxima will also have shifted to be here. So this is the shift of central maxima, which is given by B theta. So if this is B, so this is shift is B theta. And what is theta? So theta is this distance by R. Theta is delta L by R. So the shift of central, central maxima is B delta L by R. This is our answer. Okay, this diagram I forgot. So this is just to illustrate this. Then if the, that is, if the object rotates by an angle theta, then the image rotates by the same angle theta in the opposite sense. So that's what happened here. Now another way to analyze the same problem is without uh, bothering about the displacement of the images is this. So if object rotates by theta about O, the reflected rays rotate by same angle theta in the opposite sense about O. So let's say this is our O, this point, about which the object is rotates, object rotates by an angle theta about this point O. Then reflected rays about the same point O also rotate by the same angle in the opposite sense. Now line of center maxima passes through O. So line of center maxima was passing through O which means the rays from both the images were passing almost near to O and that's how we were getting our central maxima. And now because the object is shifted, so, so every ray which is passing almost near to O is also shifted by an angle theta. So whatever the images, whatever the new images are, so their rays which are passing through near O will also shift by an angle theta. So line of central, since line of central maxima passes through O, therefore central maxima will shift by B theta. So we could have directly done that without trying this diagram at all. So from the point of intersection, near the point of intersection, all the light rays are now, are now uh, at an angle theta with the original ray. So if the original maxima was here, then new maxima will be at a distance B theta 
from this point and theta we know is delta l by r all right